In this video, I'll show you how to create your own YouTube API key so you can use it with the Smash Balloon YouTube Feed Pro plugin for WordPress. While you can connect a YouTube account using this plugin, using your own API key is helpful if you want to display playlist feeds, search based feeds, and other advanced feed types. So let's get started. First, make sure you're logged into your Google account. If you don't have one yet, go ahead and register, then log in before continuing. If you've already created an API key before, you'll need to create a new project using the link in the description to avoid any issues. Once you've created your new project, you can continue from step three in this video. Step number one, head over to the Google API console. I've left a link for it in the description of this video. If it's your first time using the Google API console, you'll be asked to agree to the terms of service. Click agree and continue. Step two, click on the create project button. You can give your project any name you like, something easy to remember. Then click on create. Step three, once your project is created, make sure you've selected the right one from the drop down menu at the top of the page. This is really important. Step four, now we'll enable the YouTube API. In the search bar, type in YouTube Data API v3 and click on it from the list. Then click on Enable. Step 5. Once the API key is enabled, go to the Credentials tab on the left hand side. At the top, click on Create Credentials, then select API Key. Step 6. A new API key will be generated for you. Copy the key from the pop up window. If you ever need it again later, you can come back to the Credentials page and find it there under API Keys. Step 7. Now head over to your WordPress dashboard, hover over YouTube feed and click on settings. Paste the API key here and click save. And that's it. YouTube feed pro is now connected to your own YouTube API key. And just a quick note, sometimes it takes a few minutes for the new API key to start working. If you see an error message, wait 10 to 15 minutes, save your settings again, then check your YouTube feed. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. And if you run into any issues, our support team is always happy to help. If this video helped you out, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and social media tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.